free gaskets free gaskets but first uh, what what to, to bring you up to date to get you up to snuff on this year project that we got going this Bailey War engine uh, what 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 I done the other day before I called it a day is I went on ahead and put the two studs in the engine with uh, with the Permatex down here to the correct height you remember we wanted a a, a full thread right there showing oh it's just good work my ship we done done that free gaskets this right here is the center I, I made some gaskets for uh, Maytag engine I think this was the two cylinder uh, I don't remember but this right here is the center out of that gasket and normally you'd throw that away so but I saved this and it's enough material there for two of these t top two body gaskets on these the baling war engine McCormick Deering made by International Harvester had the office up there in Chicago made in America you know the uh, with that said really quick let's get on with this and not be fooling around the easiest way to make these gaskets and I made about ten of them different ones here quicker than I could order them on the telephone the time spent on the phone would have been longer than what I've been making these and I made them out of that salvage material so you can log them in as being free but the easiest way to do this is just take your piece of material with no markings on it put it right on top of the mixer body and take the ball peen hammer the peen part and go right around yonder and cut out the inside right there okay you put that little uh, venturi sleeve in there and then you affix th that right there okay now that's that lines up the gasket it can't be moving now the next thing you do is you you cut out the two bolt holes put your two fingers right in there like that and you go right around yonder and make yourself a indent Take the scissors and cut that free. Now you know what I'm talking about. What you end up with is this right here. Okay, once you get that cut free, then you put that right on top of yonder. And you take the top of the mixer and you set it on top of there. You take a pencil and you go right down in there and mark a hole where your filler plug would be. And when you when you bring that out, then you take another pair, you take your pencil, and you go right around through yonder, and just make you a something like that. And then you cut that free. Now you know what I'm talking about. When you get that cut free, it'll look like that. A little smiley face with eyes. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get here. East coast of Arkansas, a smiley face. Anyways, that goes right yonder like that. Now we we've got the gasket. That gasket's done. That gasket's ready to go. Oh no, it ain't either. The um, what I done right there is 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 I did not want I did not want to see this gasket when I got done with this right here. So so what I done is I took this felt pin here. It's a good quality one with that uh, permanent ink in there that won't get away. And I went all the way around the edge of that right there three or four times, and I let that ink soak into the edge of that gasket. That way, when you put that thing together and you bolt it down, you won't see your gasket there. It don't matter what color it started life as being. The reason you put that on there and mark this hole right here is because the way this the way this uh, the way this engine was was kind of built was. Um, uh, it was it was easy starting if you remove this plug and you filled up you filled up that chamber down in yonder it that will fill up completely up up to this point right here there, there's a little there's a little there's a little gate there's a little spillway milled into this to this uh overflow 
at, 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 at the correct height from the factory they knew how, how high to mill that so they mill that out in there and, and your carburetor they, these, these carburetors cannot leak back other than out the inlet side over here this is the inlet this is the outlet and this is the drain the plug most likely you'll never remove this the uh, but anyways this it fills up here and once that gets full then it spills over and goes back to the gas tank through the return line the and it's, and another thing about these engines too they they will never be starved for a vent on the gas tank because this this overflow pipe is a direct route back to the fuel inlet pipe so you can always get extra air in through that pipe but with that said the um not not to confuse you or anything this this is the correct height for the level of the fuel to be on your siphon right there that's how that works all all of the ems work this way even the ones with the three uh, the other configurations the two the three whatever it, it had a predetermined height in there of your fuel standing but the the reason that was is is you you pour your fuel in here and you fill up this chamber here that way when you start the engine you won't have to be over there pumping on your fuel pump or you won't have to be turning the flywheel excessive amounts of turns so we got all of this done. We got the new interior made. Go back a couple of videos, even related over in some different categories to see the interior, how it was made. If you if you are interested in it, how to make one of these. Uh, and we did do some gasket videos. Just just check all the way across the board there. It's uh, it's kind of random if you know what I mean. But we got all of this. This is all in good condition. It's time to put it on the engine. But uh, like I say, it's free gaskets, salvaged gasket material saved from another project. Uh, the Ford M and it's Ford M. And also, they on the back cover on the rear of the housing, there will be a gasket back there. And we got that cut. And you see that I cut it proud. We're going to bolt that to the engine, then we'll take a blade and trim it to fit. Now let's get over to the engine. Well, let's see what, uh, yeah, let's get over to the engine.